Hello, I am Ice Beast, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. Ooh, ooh. I felt like doing that, so I did it. Um, let's just get right in on it. We are defending against, I believe, a host invasion. Yes, uh, this should not be a problem. We have uh, well over the required uh, military forces to win this, so we will just crush it. Then I think I'm going to go after this land here in uh, that is now part of Sweden, previously Poland. Um, we're going to grab that and call it a day. What is going on up here, by the way? You are currently by the High Chieftain of Bryansk. Where's Bryansk? You are attacking this guy in the Holy Word for Tiver. Interesting. Good for you. So I have uh, 24,000 dudes. Why do I... Oh, I was going to get you on the boats. That's right. Yeah, we're going to come crush this army. Um, this should be, what, 26,000-ish men? And this is planes. That's really interesting. Oh, now they're rushing down the siege like a bunch of dicks. And they lost a lot of guys doing it. And are we paused? No, I just forgot to actually have these guys come in. And then this is my actual um, thing. There's a word that I'm looking for here. My uh, That's my um, retinue. That's the word I'm looking for. We're going to get some more. So we got money, so let's do it. Boom. Get that retinue up even more. Cool. And then whom do we have leading these forces? We want to make sure that we have the right dudes. We want this organizer here. Definitely this holy warrior. That's going to be awesome. Um, and then uh, we don't need a siege expert. Let's get a heavy infantry leader in here instead. I think that will be a slight better benefit for us. Um, you can't support this army at all, actually. You can, though, so that's good. So you're going to arrive on Amisos on the 26th of September. So we're going to fight it out here. Awesome, which is a river crossing and mountain, so that, that's not so awesome. But we are actually just winning the engagement straight up. Let's just look at this real quick. I'm trying to figure out... I guess we just had a bigger heavy infantry contingent. We did not suffer badly in that engagement at all. Oh, nice. More places are converting. Does that include, um, Prusa has converted. So let's get this down here now. Awesome. If I ever decide to bring this, uh, to, to whatever that other game is, EU4, that will be awesome to have. All right, so we'll enforce demands. I doubt I can execute you. Yeah, they'll all be pissed off, but I can banish you. You have no gold? Well, then just fucking stay in prison. <laughs> I thought you had some gold. All right, we're going to just let uh, this tick down a little bit longer because it's still at minus 10, and I, I don't want it to be at minus 10. I believe it ticks down once every 72 days, which is quite a while. Uh, let us look at the military forces of the Swedes. They only have 22,000 total dudes. That is not a lot of dudes. Um, allies... The Duke of Smaland, the Bishop of Rome, none of these people are particularly strong enough to realistically uh, offer up a fight in this engagement. What just happened? The Ruthenians are going after Galich. Is this this, this territory? Ruthenia is attacking... Yeah. And these guys have well more than enough dudes that they'll be able to carry the day. So that seems stupid. Just going to go out there and say that was stupid. When this gets down to about minus five, we're going to launch the war. Some titles can be usurped. Let's see what can be usurped and usurp it. Um, the Sultanate of Rum can be usurped. Let's do it. Um, so this is a kingdom, which I always thought was hilarious. So you control this. And apparently this. Um, let's uh, grant you the landed title, the Khanate of Rum. I can't believe this is a kingdom, by the way. This little tiny bullshit kingdom here. What else can I usurp? The Duchy of Anatolia. And we'll leave that one separate. Let's keep this going. I will be going for, uh, why can I imprison you? What did you do? 
Why why can I imprison you? You've acted dishonorably towards me. Oh, and I'm dead. Um, that changes a lot of stuff. So my son and heir, whom I'm pretty sure I was supposed to be educating, but I am not. Um, he's got some educators. So this is my son, Prince Buya, who's apparently no longer a genius, even though I was pretty sure he was born a genius. He's not bad, though. His stats are pretty good. Long live Khan Osimo. One sec, I need to pause for a second. Uh, let me look at me. Uh, I want to change my... So let me look at my wife real quick. God, she sucks. Can we kill her? Does anybody want to kill her? One sec, let's just end this real quick. I want to kill my wife uh, she can go into hiding yeah so let's just see if we can kill her off um, apparently we're now at war with the Teutonic Order it was it was me who had originally started this war apparently um, let us so the next thing I want to do is change my focus why would I focus on goddamn scholarship let's go to a stewardship focus select hopefully that gets up to eight it did all right awesome uh, no thanks, I'm fine. Um, next thing we'll do is give ri rid of most of the holdings we have up here. These ones all suck. So this is mine, this is mine, this is mine. This is, none of this is mine. Well, first we'll get rid of these holdings. So, um, fine men, no, my religion, my culture, boom. Congratulations, Kabichi. You're gonna get, um... I don't know where Riazan is, but you're going to get Minsk. And then I'm... These guys are all ambitious. That's me. It's interesting that I... No, that's my son. Oh, yeah. Let's give my son a bunch of titles. We'll give him... Sure. We'll give him Riazan. Grant landed title. We will give him... Uh, Smolensk. Grant landed title will give him um, Veteskby. Grant landed title and we'll give him um, Orsha. And I don't think I want to give him anything else at this moment. Oh, I have a Tashi. That's the other problem. All right. Uh, we'll give him the High Chiefdom of Riazan and then we will give him. Khanate of Riazan. So that solves the Riazan problem. Uh, and should solve generally my oversized problem. Now I have one little piece of land here that I probably created. And we'll just take care of that. Boom. We need a steward. So you, my friend. Wait, why, why is this not appointing? Let's try this again. I don't get what's happening here. Why can't I appoint that guy? What the heck's going on here? Okay, I could appoint him. Can't appoint that guy. Could appoint that guy. Okay, whatever. Um, don't suppress revolts. Uh, train troops. Collect money. Um, I want to improve diplomatic relations with my strongest vassals. He actually really likes us. Uh, what about Bulgaria? He also kind of likes us. He's okay with us. He's okay with us. Um, what about this guy? This guy's really strong. He likes us too. What about uh, this dickbag out here? He likes us too. Everyone seems to like us. Even with the short range rate and penalty. And I apparently have too many held duchies. But I will um, get you to improve relations with him. And then for now, I guess I'll just spy on a uh, spy on some shiz. So yeah, you go proselytize down here. Got some tech we need to get. Let's uh, bump up our heavy infantry again. Awesome. We have a child. This is my son. Um, let's educate him ourselves. Awesome. Shit. Oh, that's not my army. Okay. 
So you guys assemble there, and then I will assemble my personal levy down here. This is interesting, actually, because this might actually be one. Now, they're going to lose, but they'll do a decent amount of damage. Apparently, we're at war with Sweden. Sweden got called into the war. Yeah, Sweden got called into the war. Um, apparently, my wife's pregnant and I was away, even though I'm trying to kill her. Because I want a better wife. Too many vassals at the moment. All right, 13,000 random dudes that I have accrued with another uh, 12,000 down here. Yes, I know I'm over my vassal lim limit. Uh, next thing I want to do is look to see how I have too many duchies. Oh, I have the High Chieftain of Vir Viterski. Grant landed title, the High Chieftain of Vitebski. All right, cool. So that should solve that problem. My steward is no longer available. I will raise up... Make the prince happy, I think. Give me your navies. Oh, nice. I am now ambitious. That is a great trait to have. I actually want to come all the way down to here. I'm going to bring in these 15,000 dudes. Get on the boats, please. So you come to the north. I don't think Sweden can realistically uh, get a big enough force here to aid us. Cool. And we're going to march. Just say that's a rel relief. I don't need to... To do this anymore. Came an indulgent wastrel. Oh, that sucks. We'll give you some land because we're going to conquer uh, this piece of territory here. Let's make sure we have good leaders. And we do want the siege leader on here. Yeah, you're fucked. Um, so my wife is now dead. So we will get the... Um, get married ambition then what we're going to do is find let's look for a wife we want someone who has a lot of of the good stuff um she's not bad let's let's marry her we don't need any more children so um so just marrying her should be fine so i thought you were a genius you are not uh you died young you're a genius my daughter's a genius she has a husband unfortunately and you're not a genius i would swear this guy was a genius he's still good i mean his stats are really really good so let's lower these boats don't need those all right so we got married beautiful that helped this stuff out which is exactly what i was hoping for my uh twenty-seven thousand. Men have managed to take that. What what type of engagement was this war? This is the... Um, oh, there's a peasant revolt. That was literally not what I meant to click on. I don't know where the peasant revolt is. It's down there. Like a bunch of dicks. Okay, we'll just let that run its way for now. Let's uh, do some falconry. I love falconry. Who doesn't like falconry? Good. Falconry got me some, a diplomacy bonus. Um, we're going to suffer some attrition here because they can only support 25,000. We're losing money, by the way. We are. We're losing a butt ton of money. Um, I am now a falconer. Awesome, we're gonna win this real quick here, and then we're gonna go fight these 19,000 dudes who are just marching with no morale 
right into this army of 15,000. That seems dumb, but okay. You want to marry my niece. Sure, marry my niece. I don't think that gives you a claim. I feel like this was a really, really bad engagement for the AI. I'm actually going to wait because we're winning. And I think the AI's army will fall back into us. No, they're going towards Glitch. This is fine. We will take this land. 18th of November. Okay. Why does every time my rulers become goddamn stressed? What's the uh, supply limit here? 18,000. All right. Um, split the army in half. Half the army go this way. Actually, this half of the army go this way. This half of the army stay. This half of the army go this way. There we go. No, God damn it! That was not what I meant to do. The only person that I want on this army is the siege leader. Actually, we could just rush this down. 14 days, we'll just rush this down and call it a day. Especially because we're about to get a huge mil... No, they're going around. That's fine. This is fine. We've rushed it down. We lost a lot of dudes in the process. What the fuck just happened? What's going on? There we go. We lost some dudes in the process, but we're winning the war wholehandedly, wholeheartedly, quickly, dominantly. How are we still suffering attrition? I thought the supply limit here was more than the men we have. Oh, now it's down to 11,000. It's because we have some sort of winter effect going on here. Normal winter, of course. Of course. The war might end before even realistically the battle, but even before this realistically ends. Um, you'll arrive on the 15th of September. We want to engage this army. 15th of March, 27th of February. Can't make them both happy. Make the high chief happy, I think. Now I'm just. Just is a good trait. There we go. This engagement should win the war. This war should be done here in about 10 seconds. Having all your vassals fighting because you inherited a war from your children is really darn cool. What the hell am I doing? Um. No, oh, god damn it. Why can't I inf- Oh, because it's an, I'm not the one who actually initiated the war. Oh, okay. Very interesting. We came in as a, uh... As a, uh, aid to the war. Not as a principal combatant to the war. You guys really should end the war. There we go. Yeah, so now we'll just have to deal with the stupid rebels in the south, but... I have a daughter. I have a daughter. She just apparently died. Why is this sieged? Are you attacking... No, you're not going after the last Byzantine holding in the world. No surprise there. Alright, so we'll raise up your... 9,000 dudes and get ready to cross the narrow sea. Um, no, we don't want anyone to be ambitious. We are going to go after Sweden here, but that's going to be on the next episode for sure. Is that the province I'm trying to convert? It is. Cool. This is going really, really well, guys. So yeah, we're going to go after Sweden, and then we'll probably go after HRE. That's probably going to be our next attack, our next plan. But first, we're going to just win this war. I'm going to raise up a small force here, and the whole point of having this force is to uh, get them when they come back, when they come back across. Because yeah, we have dominant military presence in this engagement. And then these 900 guys are coming back across. We'll have 1,000 guys waiting for them. Um, actually, about 2,000 guys waiting for them, plus this, these guys coming back across. And that should end that war. That was a nice, nice easy one. 
could have let them finish their siege so I could get money out of this guy when I uh, executed him, but whatever. Anyway, that's where we're going to end the episode. So thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I will see you all next time.